Okay, let's have a look at surface calculation in this ecocognition deconstructed video today. Surface calculation, this is an algorithm which allows you to compute slope and or aspect. As input, you need to have an elevation data set or any data set, raster data set, and then you can compute a slope or the aspect as you see here on the right hand side. Why would you use this? Why would you want to compute slope or aspect? Most of you probably know. Uh, that's why you are watching this video. But just to give you some ideas, you could improve, for example, water surfaces because water doesn't have any slope or at least standing water. So you can use this to improve your classification. Then discriminate different vegetation types. They might have differences in slope. I'm thinking about a homogeneous field compared to a forest. A forest has some variation in elevation and if you compute a slope you can compute the standard deviation of the slope and then discriminate those vegetation types easily. If you use or compute aspect and slope you can use it to compute solar power potential for roofs um, which is very nice and you could use it for additional input for assessment of potential high-risk areas for landslides. So I think if you're interested in landslide mapping, this is a parameter of both actually layers, uh, slope and aspect are crucial input parameters to assess the potential risk for landslides. The same is true, I guess, for avalanches. So slope and aspect come, come in handy here. Um, also an important parameter for landform feature extraction if you want to extract uh, ridges, uh, sinks and so on. Last but not least, uh, those are also important parameters for botanists and soil scientists uh, if they're interested in sunlight availability, erosion and so on. That's just a list that came to my mind after a few minutes of brainstorming, but there are a million other use cases out there and you probably also already have a use case where you can use those and again you don't need to compute them outside of ecognition we have this algorithm surface calculation and you can compute them in ecognition in the rule set automatically easy peasy and i'm going to show you now how this is done in an example project you will also find this project in the data folder and you simply need to drag and drop this surface calculation project into ecognition developer and there we go you see we have one layer layer one which is our digital surface model and we already have a rule set here let's have a look at the surface calculation so as stated before we are looking at the algorithm surface calculation and we can calculate uh, the slope or aspect and you define that here in the parameters in the algorithm do you want to use slope or aspect what does slope give you slope computes how steep a terrain is in for each pixel and what you can choose here is actually the gradient unit degree or percent and then important the unit of pixel values and you have to adjust this if the vertical unit differs from the horizontal so if the spatial resolution for example of your project is one kilometer and the height is specified in meters then you should define here the value of 0 0.001 in our case the resolution is four meters of each pixel but the elevation is one meter so i'm going to enter here the value of 0 0.25 that's going to give us correct results input layer is our layer one the digital surface model we don't have a region that's the output layer i sim you simply can type in uh, what you like here i'm going to call it slope and leave this one default 32-bit float execute this and then the slope layer will pop up here in the view settings and this is our slope layer right so low values in flat areas and high values for very steep terrain and again you can change it to percent as well um, but let's leave it at that so that's pretty straightforward let's have a look at aspect so again same algorithm but you have to change here in the algorithm from slope to aspect you cannot change gradient unit or nor 
unit of pixel values, so ignore that. Input layer is layer one, and output layer is aspect. What does aspect give you? Um, aspect actually identifies the downslope direction, right? So is this slope facing south, north, west, east, whatever? So you get a value between zero and 360. And yeah, if you execute this one, again, output layer type is default. We get yet another layer here, aspect, and it looks like this. I'm gonna change the colors a bit to false color rainbow. So you actually now can differentiate between the different aspect types so where the slopes are facing into which direction. And again, helpful for a lot of different things. And I think it doesn't need any further explanation, to be honest. Uh, it's very fast, it's very easy. And now you can use that information to classify or extract features. I implement something here real quick. Uh, mainly I did it to create a nice thumbnail for this video. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm creating a point cloud with certain information. So what I'm doing here is first a chessboard of one and then for each object, I'm gonna create a point with uh, X coordinate with uh, representing the center of the object, Y coordinate, the, the Y center. C is the mean layer one value, so the elevation. And then intensity, we can change here from aspect maybe to slope. And hit execute. Uh, not this one, the whole thing. So we first do a chessboard segmentation and then create a point cloud. And that's just nice to have a 3D view of your findings, right? I'm gonna uncheck the object level and also the image layers and display the point cloud. So you see we have created a point cloud. Now we, have, we are displaying the height. Um, that's the C information, the C value that represents our layer one values for each object. But now we also can change it to color coded. And that's actually gonna display the intensity in colors, right? So we have written the slope into the intensity and you can display the intensity here or and also display the color coded intensity, right? That's simply what I'm doing here. And now you can click the 3D button and have a look at this in 3D. And that's always pretty cool. And you could, can do the same for, instead of the slope, let's use the aspect, okay, execute. And then you're gonna have the aspect here as, um, intensity, so to say, and you can display it here as well. Here we go. So that's very nice. And yeah, actually that was just necessary to create a nice thumbnail. And you might have noticed that we have these blobs here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's uh, create a smaller subset. and increase the point size. And these blobs are actually trees, I guess. Um, so it's not a terrain model, a surface model. So you also have the, the trees in there. Um, yeah, that explains why we do have those, those effects here. Okay, so that was it. Surface calculation, compute slope or aspect, and then use it for your analysis. Enjoy and have a great day.